Okay, welcome guys. So, yeah, <laughs> so we're going to have a an overview look at the skills, uh, and then we can start seeing what might be potentially good for a build. Let me know what you guys think about what skills have been good for you if you've used a mage, and um, which ones have been thought they were going to be good but turned out to be absolute dog shit. So, each one I cover. Let me know what your thoughts were if you have any like super negative things or think this becomes amazing when it gets morphed, right? But that's it. So Templar, I've more or less nearly finished with it. Yeah, with all the skills. Is it raining outside? Huh. But yeah, anyway. So as you can see, uh, when I'm going to use the uh, Sorcerer, I plan to have 5 light, 2 heavy. Right, that's my initial thought for the build. I, I would like to have just one destruction staff and one restoration staff. Uh, but chances are that the restoration may just be there for dungeons. So it'll be two, quite a lot of destruction skills in the two slots. But when I go to a dungeon, it'll be one lot of destruction, one lot of restoration, maybe. But I'm saying, let me know uh, which things are shit and which is the tits. Right, so you see for this class as a sorcerer you have a dark magic uh, which is all things we will have a read of them very shortly so I'll actually be able to tell you what these are. Uh, dark summoning which daedric summoning which is all that's where you keep seeing the massive storm action archers all the clan fears uh, and all the other twilight wing things and uh, basically all, this is your, this is the only class where you summon things and you storm calling which to me looks like the most appealing because you become some sort of lightning beast all right and all the other bits down here so we will head over to ESO head and have a look uh, <laughs> Pokemon <laughs> yes very cool so in the dark magic to start with its ultimate is negate magic so let's have a read of this the range uh, the target Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the range of 28 meters, target rate or well, the radius is 8 meters, duration is 8 seconds. It dispels enemy placed effects in an area for 8 seconds whilst silencing enemies and stunning monsters nearby. Yeah, morphs into dispels enemies placed effects in the area for 9.5 seconds whilst silencing enemies and stunning monsters nearby. Areas in Eyes in area gain 32 spell resistance. Remember, this is on basically the lowest level. There'll be a lot more the higher you are. So these effects. So the new effect, the eyes gain spell resistance. This new effect is restores health and magicka upon dispel. All right. So I don't know. This sounds a, a real crap ultimate. If, if I'm honest, it doesn't sound anything remotely appealing. This one I keep seeing it with everyone. This is what like you start with crystal shard basically just takes quite a long time to cast it uh, where you basically just blast something and it knocks them down it's cool it's got the knockdown uh, this thing adds an area damage so it'll knock whatever down and deal damage to others that's all right and chance to make the ability insta cast i don't chance things aren't very good because it's not good when you you can't sort of plan your stats when it's luck based. So 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 if anything you you move it to that, yeah. So it just hits other things, right? In case uh, this one immobilizes enemies in front of you for 4.5 seconds, okay. Doesn't do any damage, just immobilizes them. And now this one, shattering prism, deals damage when effects ends. Right, that's pretty cool. So it actually does a blast of damage, uh, and this one. Enemies are snared when effect ends. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather have the damage. Yeah, if you agree with that, let me know. Uh, room prison disorients enemies for 15.1 seconds. That's all right. That's not bad. That's quite a long time for them to be disorientated. And this one stuns target when effect ends. Right, so this that's just a big fuck about. Like, oh, that's what that is. That one spell just seems like a troll. Uh, Enemy takes extra damage while it's disorientated. That's really good because they're disorientated for ages. So if they're taking extra damage whilst their head's all over the spot, that's that's pretty damn sick. Dark Exchange restores health, quite a lot of health and magic whilst channeling, but drains 23% stamina. That's really, really good. So you basically get your stamina rate uh, 
but you're restoring a lot of health and magic, so that's pretty cool. Takes less damage while it's challenge, challenging, channeling, uh, but deals damage when effects ends. Don't know. Drains less stamina. That'd be the best. That'd be by far the best. That's that's amazing. Daedric Mines. This is the one I keep seeing everyone casting. These look amazing. With basically just a big rune that goes on the floor and just blasts everyone into the air. It's pretty sick. All right. Summons three mines for thirty seconds. Mine takes three seconds to arm. Uh, then deals th thirty magic damage to nearby enemies. Enemies by the mines are mobilized for one point five seconds. Mine summon in a line and arm instantly. Summons five mines. Maybe this isn't the one I keep seeing. This mustn't be the one. I keep seeing something else that blasts and run into the air. Well, this is pretty cool. I mean, the mines, if they're pretty big, I'd like to know how big they are. But the last rage is 30 seconds and you cast a million mines. Fucking, that's good for bosses and they just keep spamming that. Okay, they, some of them seem pretty cool. Especially the Dark Exchange and Daedric Mines, they, they sound good. The Crystal Shard is pretty nice, but I don't know, it's quite a long ass cast. Yeah, uh, obviously that's without a shadow of a doubt, you need to get both of them. Uh, using Dark Magic Ability, hitting an enemy with Dark Magic Spells, uh, deal, uh, pl uh, heals a player for 3% 3, 3 health. So, okay, so every time you're whacking something with something, you end up getting healed. Uh, increased duration of Dark Magic Spells for 10%. Increased duration of dark magic spells by 10%. Okay, that's when you're disorientating everyone, everything lasts a tad bit longer. Exploitation. Increased critical strike chance by 7.5% when attacking targets affected by dark magic. Okay, so that's obviously only good if you're using one of these, but I think that's not too bad. Crit, that's a huge jump for the crit chance, so that'll be like 15% when you when you've got both slots on it. All right. Some of them good. Some of them crap, I think. Uh, the Encase was probably the worst one there, and the Dark Exchange probably the best one there. The Ultimate was pure dog shit as well. <laughs> right, so onto the Daedric Summoning. Right, so you summon your Storm Action Arch, he is a monster. I, when people use it, I love it coming down because it's a huge beast. It's only 200 Ultimate to cost it, so that's a pretty cheap cast. So you can actually cast that quite often. And he's just a big unit that comes down and uh, yeah, summons a, wait, hmm. summons an immobile storm action arch to target location for 15 seconds. Enemies in the area are stunned for 3 seconds and take 22 shock damage. An ally may activate the charged lightning synergy channel, cause the action arch to deal 100%, 150% additional damage for up to 5 seconds. So basically, synergy energy becomes a, a super beast, increased duration in health. That sounds a winner. Has powerful area effect attacks. She. 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 I don't know. Both of them are really, really good. Hmm. Let me know which you think's best. I think, if anything, that area effect would be, it would be that huge lightning chainy blast everywhere. Right. Unstable familiar. I think that's epic. Some of the familiar to attack enemies, toggle to activate, reduced magic code by 10%. Some of the clan fear with increased health. Clan fears are much better than a, than a familiar. Volatile familiar. Explosion on death causing damage and stunning nearby enemies. Oh, obviously you want the clan fear with increased health. Clan fears are the tits. Daedric curse. Some of the wing twilight. No, Daedric curse. Enemy is cursed for 6 seconds when effect when effect completes target takes 22 magic damage and nearby enemies take 11 magic damage only one curse may be active at one time so basically you just give someone sort of tick damage that's that's kind of all that sounds like it has increased radius yeah basically you just cast this on the constant tick damage curse ends sooner and I'm like what? Anyways. I don't know, it's, it's, I don't know, it's just like a delayed effect. Some shit. I don't know, that just sounds really bad. Mm, I'm pretty sure it's just some sort of de like delayed. Uh, when effect completes, target takes change. Yeah, yeah, basically chucking something on it, and when that time's finished, then all the stuff happens. It's just a complete delayed uh, ability, right? Which could mean the difference between you living or dying because you've got to wait six seconds. 
of fucking 3.5 seconds. Right. Summon wing twilight. Uh, summons a wing twilight to attack nearby enemies. Toggle to activate. Reduce max magicka by 10%. So obviously you're always going to lose your magic once one of these is up. Right. Uh, so obviously you got to have a lot of magic so it doesn't bother you too much. Right. Magic regeneration aura. And... Heals you when at low health. Okay, that's pretty good. So he, he heals and does damage. And your familiar will just do damage. Bound armor, increase max armor by 11. Oh, that must be that cool thing that everyone puts on. So that silver, so that silver kind of uh, armor. Right, increase heavy, increase heavy attack damage. Provides increased armor. I think it'd be be that if anything. Especially if you're using all light armor. Then, then that really needs to be that. And a conjured ward creates a zero point damage shield on self uh, and summoned creature for 20 seconds. That's pretty cool. But obviously it won't be zero damage. <laughs> uh, uh, shield strength increased on self. Effects pet deals additional damage. Effects pet. Hmm. No, I'd rather have that. Your self's more priority than, than the pet. Uh, play receives 10%. Max Magicka, uh, when one of their summon creatures is killed. So basically, because you lose 10%, as soon as it dies, you instantly recover it instead of having to regen it. Uh, and obviously, it'll become like 15 or 20% when you've got both skills on it. Reduce the cast of all my abilities by 8%. That's a monstrous amount. So that'll probably be like 15, 16%. That's a huge amount. That's amazing. Daedric Protection increased players' health regen rate by 10% with any summoned. Ability slotted. This sounds really good. I really like the Daedric line. I really like it. Uh, provides bonuses for summon creature. Wing Twilight has increased down 5%. For the plan for has movement speed increased 10%. Astronauts has a, a increased range of 15%. Holy shit. This is a really strong line. Like a really, really strong line. So obviously, your yeah, maces are quite squishy. To have this kind of line out is is a beast, but just having your your, your if anything it would be your, your clan fear, your twilight, your bound armor, and then you have like two attacking spells from I don't know storm calling or the dark magic, because that's really really good, really really good. Uh, and now storm calling uh, overload. Lion heavy attacks are replaced with empowered versions that drain ultimate toggle to activate. Increased range and radius of heavy attacks. Light and heavy attacks restore magicka. Okay, that's pretty cool. Hmm. I right, so you can't you can't be that storm astronaut. Storm astronaut is the tits. Major's fury deals seven shock damage. Explodes for an additional twenty seven damage if the target falls below twenty percent health in four seconds. The Explosion deals five shock damage to enemies and then a four meter radius of the target. Oh, yeah, that's the big lightning bolt that comes down. Explosion deals more damage. Killing blows restore magicka. Hmm. 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 I don't know, both of them are pretty good. Lightning form. Increased armor and spell resistance by 35 for six seconds and deal two shock damage. Uh, to nearby enemies every one second. Increased duration and gain increased movement speed whilst active. Hmm. It doesn't sound as appealing as the bound armor, not not by a long shot. Creates a pool of lightning for th or lightning splash. Creates a pool of lightning for three seconds that deals three shock damage every 0 0.5 seconds. A nearby ally may activate the conduit. Ah, yeah, I keep I've seen this synergy a lot. Uh, instantly shocking enemies for 22 damage. Uh, first hits deal additional damage. Has increased radius. That doesn't sound that appealing. Increased weapon damage by 3 for 17 seconds. Uh, has increased duration for what? 17 seconds. I thought it was 3 seconds. Critical strikes heal you. Huh. Ooh. It's at 34 seconds. It'd be that. Jesus. That'll be a beast when that's leveled. Right. Uh, and teleports player. Yeah, the teleport. Damage and destroys enemies in front of you. 
and absorbs projector. Yeah, that's the one. Say if you're in PvP or you're running away from mobs and they're always firing at you with all this shit. This just absorbs all that crap so you don't get hit and can get away safely. That's pretty damn cool. Bolt escape's amazing. Um, increase magic regen by 5%. That'll be really good when it's leveled. Increase damage of stone clone abilities by 3%. Could it be that Major's Fury? It'd be that Major's Fury and the Crystal Shard and the three. Oh my god. Okay, so. Alright, so this one disintegrate gives all lightning spells a 5% chance to instantly disintegrate targets at low health. Right, that's pretty cool. Uh, reduce cost of Stone Cold abilities. Right, so. The build, my head, alright. Let me know what you guys think. First. First slot would be uh, Major's Fury. I would whack that on. Uh, I would have it with the uh, Explosion Deals More Damage. I'd have it with that. Then I'd have the Crystal Shard uh, with the adds, uh, adds Area Damage. Maybe. And uh, Daedric Summer with the Unstable Familiar, uh, that, the Twilight, and the Bound Armor, right? And uh, so the Unstable Familiar obviously would be the Clan Fear, uh, Twilight would be heals you at low health, Bound Armor would be provides increased, provides increased armor, right? That's that's what I would have for my first five slots, because like I said maybe the other side would be the heals. Um, the feels <laughs> but yeah that's it so let me know what you guys think uh, that's what is in my head and I, I might beast would be the action arch with increased duration and health probably the longer he's out the better uh, turn it for 25 seconds and that one is just 15 so it's a 10% longer he's out for that's a hell of a long time to help you with a boss alright yeah okay so guys, so let me know what you think, don't forget to give a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all on, hopefully, my social videos that I'm going to be making soon. Alright, bye bye.